if the Colombians <laughs> had just been able to keep their cool, I think Mickey Monday said at the Smuggler and Cocaine Cowboys that you know they, they killed the golden goose with the violence. You know, the importation of drugs and the explosion of of money in Miami was not a problem for anybody. <laughs> Nobody had a problem with any of that until the violence, until the need to enforce this consignment business uh, exploded on the streets of Miami in, in, in the way that it had in, in Colombia. Uh, and that's when the crackdown occurred. You know, that's, that's when you, know, you had the sort of civic leaders of Miami look to the Reagan administration, uh, and, and Reagan sent uh, George Bush the first you know, with the vice presidential task force on, on drugs and violence in Miami. I mean, that's extraordinary if you think about it. You know, if you think about, think about the, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, Joe Biden task force on meth in Kentucky, like, you'd be like, what the fuck? You know, like, that would be a great, but that's what actually happened. It was like the first time since the Civil War where, like, this, you know, the, the locals had to kind of call the, the cavalry in, and, uh, and that's what really started to clamp down on it, you know, and, and, and you had... Um, uh, the law is always very slow to adapt to the reality on the streets. So you had police officers on the streets with six shooters confronting <laughs> AKs and Mac 11s and 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 armored plated uh, you know vehicles, and they're like, we are out, man. We're out, gun. We're out, finance. So as soon as you know, as soon as you know, the, the financing and the laws, the kingpin laws, of course, got changed. You started, you know, people starting to get 30 years in, in or life in prison for for being involved with drugs at the start. You can get caught with kilos in Miami, and it was literally a revolving door at the courthouse. You know, you'd you'd put up the bond, and you'd be you'd be out, you'd be back in Colombia, and back again on a fake on a new fake passport with a with a different name. You know, so so everything kind of had to adapt, and it was really when George Bush came down when it was like you could see the writing was was on the wall. But then it's what the uh, uh, a DEA agent once told told me they called the water balloon effect because as it, it, it the perception is that the feds have infinite resources, but they still all have a budget. So they can only go so far. So when you, they're 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 uh, dedicating all of their resources to South Florida, to the Caribbean, and you know, to, in terms of drug interdiction, like a water balloon, you squeeze one side, and the other side blows up, and that's how Mexico and Texas and the and the West side really started to explode. And it's like I said before, it's like Miami is the bellwether, or the canary in the coal mine. You know, the Florida of today is the America of tomorrow. You look at the browning of America, the spatification of America, the immigration issue, the drug issue, Medicare fraud, uh, any of these issues facing America, you just have to look at Miami 30 years ago or there about, or 20 years ago, and you can see, uh, you know, the, the kernels, or at least see how we dealt with them or didn't deal with them to understand how to confront the, the, these issues now. But Me Mexico, as it, as it turns out, was always much easier because it's like, well, wait, we actually share a border. The, the water is much more co complex to traverse and much much more treacherous, uh, despite the fact that it's easier to kind of evade detection and capture. It's still the ocean, which is, which is you know, incredibly challenging. But we share a land border with, with uh, Mexico. So that became, you know, that became, and, and, and that's not, even though it feels recent, that's a very late 80s, you know, mid, mid to late 80s kind of phenomenon when they first came down to crack down on the Caribbean.